Nathan, I'm out here in Lake Havasu City. Gonna be testing side-by-side -side comparison of the new GoPro dive housing with no filter and with PolarProFilter.com's new green water filter. Magenta in color, it should work out pretty good. You'll notice out here in Lake Havasu, we have a big river, a big lake, and this water gets green. So, not that green's a bad thing, it's just the color that it is. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna do a little test here to see how well the GoPro, excuse me, the PolarProFilter.com green water filter works. All right, we'll see you down there. I set up two GoPro Hero 2s and two dive housings uh, side by side to get a comparison view. You can see the PolarProFilters.com uh, filter for green water, the magenta color one, and the right GoPro Hero dive housing. Nice, GoPros! It's usually not what I say to the camera though. <laughs> right on dude! Nice! The green water filter is actually installed behind the glass, so you have to disassemble the housing, uh, removing the 10 torque screws, and then applying the filter to the inside of the glass. In this part of the lake, the water is about 33 feet deep with a thermal cline. Uh, when there are no other colors, the green is all that the camera is picking up, so of course it'll be green. But what happens is as soon as you see color in the view of the camera, whether it's objects on the lake floor or in the water, the filter now allows the camera to take the entire dynamic range of the color that it's seeing and record it. Whereas if you do not have the filter, all you're getting is this washed out green neon tint to the entire frame. The non-filter version of the GoPro dive housing, especially for the Hero 2, can still get true color. There are times when the automatic settings of the camera do pick up the true representation of what is underwater, what the diver is viewing. However, what happens is, as you can see here, it's pretty close, but the camera's automatic settings will suddenly swing too far, and now everything goes to this stark green tint. Even at relatively shallow depths, you know, 10 to 15 feet, we're not trying to add color like a typical red filter uh, that's getting absorbed by the water at depth. What we're trying to do in green water is to remove the tint that's being picked up by the camera. So the offset on the color wheel for green is magenta. One thing to be uh, aware of is that bright light sources, like looking up at, at the sun or even flashlights or dive lights, they can cause even a filtered GoPro to automatically adjust to the presence of the bright white light and then you're going to lose some of the benefits of having a filter and camera. But what will happen is you'll actually see the GoPro readjust back to the filter taking away the green water and you'll have a much better image uh, very rapidly. In this short single dive, I was able to experience different uh, types of light, different directions that the light was hitting the camera, and actually was able to put the uh, PolarProFilters.com green water filter to a pretty good test on a single dive, and I'm very happy with the results I was able to get in camera. Uh, all of these images that you're seeing are just raw straight from the camera. None of them have been edited in post-production. Um, see some of my other videos on how you can actually enhance the captured image and even get better results for video production. Even in murky water, uh, stirred up silt, uh, the, you can see that the filter uh, allows the natural light, the earthy tones of the silt to be captured by the camera, whereas the non-filtered camera is seeing nothing but green uh, with the stirred up silt. Again, once the light source starts to get obscured, the non-filtered GoPro uh, is going to automatically adjust uh, its sensitivity, especially in green water. It's going to go right back to a bright tinted uh, green color throughout the entire captured image. At about 33 feet deep here, you can see that a lot of the light from color is being absorbed by the water but we're still getting a pleasant blue cast to the image rather than the bright green that's being captured by the non-filtered GoPro. So the magenta filter is allowing us to pull some of that green out and let the true colors still pass through to the camera. 
and there are things we can do post-production in uh, photo, excuse me, video editing software. But even then, it, the, the results are not as good as getting the truest image you can in camera, which is what a filter allows you to do in front of the lens. Please feel free to subscribe and also take a look at some of the other GoPro underwater videos I have from Lake Havasu. And I look forward to presenting some more videos to you in the future. Thank you for watching.